We are warming up and we don't have any freezes on the way, at least in our seven day forecast, but that will take us into 2023. We will be warm kind of relatively speaking in the 70s for our highs and well above average actually too. Rain is expected Friday into Friday night and maybe even into Saturday, but New Year's Eve and New Year's Day are looking dry. The evening for New Year's Eve and into New Year's Day. We do have another round of rain coming pretty quickly on the heels of that Monday into Tuesday of next week. Right now, though, a lot of us enjoying this bit of a warm up. Our temperatures made it to around 60 today, a few spots even into the lower 60s. Now at 518 PM, we're looking at temperatures back in the 50s. These winds which have been coming in, you can see not too strong, but mostly coming in from the east and will be more southeasterly for a lot of us as we head into tonight and the next several days. That is going to continue bringing in that warmer air from the south. Surface high pressure is across the southeast and really we don't have any active weather coming at least for the next maybe 24 to 48 hours or so until we get to the end of the week on Friday. Are we expecting our rain? Not until then. Temperatures through the next uh, several hours take us into the 40s. Tonight we're expecting clear skies. It won't be as cold. No freezes. In fact, not even frost expected north of the lake. Low temperatures will be around 40 there. If you're south of the lake, temperatures will say in the middle to upper 40s with those light southeast winds. And then tomorrow, a warmer day, maybe jumping another 9 or 10 degrees for our high from around 60 today to close to 70 tomorrow as this warm up gets going and we'll have mostly sunny skies too. Now, Thursday looks mostly quiet too. I wanted to show you though our model showing the rain moving in for Friday. This is what we're seeing on Thursday rain out to the west, but during the day Thursday, I think most of us will likely stay dry. Now this is into Friday, Friday morning into the afternoon. This model has some rain in the area by this point on Friday during the day. Other models don't have quite as much just yet. They wait until Friday evening, but either way, it does look like we'll probably have rain moving in at some point during the day Friday, then into Friday night. This is roughly 10 p.m. Warmer air moving in as well with this next system, this low pressure forming out to the north of us and eventually bringing a very weak front through as we head into this weekend. Now this is Saturday, New Year's Eve during the day. You can see the GFS model. This is the American model. It still has rain around. I will say some other models have a mostly dry during the day on Saturday and Saturday night, but we have a chance at least for some rain at this point still lingering on Saturday. But here we are Saturday evening. This is through 9 and 10 p.m. We're drying out and then this is on New Year's Day. Partly cloudy skies, but the rain to the east of us until we get another round, as I said, Monday and into Tuesday. New Year's Eve, this is your planner. You can see by 6 p.m. still maybe a 20, 30 percent chance for a spotty shower. But again, looking right now like we're going to be dry through the evening hours and at midnight, I have temperatures around 60 or so. So a little coolish, but not super cold and not super warm for for this year's changeover to the new year. This is our GFS rain forecast, by the way. This is tentative. These exact numbers will almost certainly change, but just through Friday, Friday night and into Saturday, you can see we might rack up maybe up to one to two or so inches of rain, and there might be a couple of heavier pockets of rain, maybe even bringing a couple of rain totals a little higher than one to two inches, maybe even close to three for some spots. So some ponding of water in the usual spots where it doesn't drain well might be something to think about Friday night and into early Saturday. But then New Year's Day, we're looking mild in the 70s. Pretty nice day, patchy fog possible in the overnights this week since we'll have that warm up. And then into next week, you can see the rain chance going back up Monday into Tuesday.